Hey, what's up guys? How are you doing? Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we're talking about our tattoo videos. One of the most common questions I get asked in the comments on Instagram is what app do you use for your videos? And bro, it's no app. It's like we have a whole video department who is just committed to doing the nicest footage, pictures, videos, editing for the world's best videos. Head of the video department is Sebastian today here with me sharing his super secret knowledge about how to do the perfect tattoo video. Sebastian, how are you doing? How are you doing, man? Sebastian, tell us how to do a perfect tattoo video. So this is a big topic, how to make a good video. So we're gonna divide it in a few different parts. So at first we have the uh, technical part about a the camera. Then we will show you a video we made and talk a little bit about how we shot this video. And then we will tell you about our post-production process. This sounds like a lot. Let's dive into it, bro. Let's go. First of all, we have to talk about the camera. Oh, now he's gone. Sebastian, tell me, is my iPhone enough to do like a perfect video for tattooing? No, it is not. Why? Um, you, need a, you need a good camera to shoot a good video. So I would recommend a camera that was specially made for filming. Or if you don't have the budget, you can get like a, a DSLM camera, for example, the Sony a7 III. That's the camera that we are using here in the shop. It's one of our cameras, right? We have yeah. like a it's, bunch of them. Yeah, we got two of those cameras because they are pretty good all-rounder. What's so special about this camera is it is able to shoot up to 120 frames per second, which enables you to do a four-time slow motion. So if you shoot something, you can slow the movement down by the factor of four. So instead of a fast movement, what you see is a really smooth movement of the tattoo needle and you can really see how the needle penetrates the skin and you can get the details right and it compensates for shaking. If you have a shaky hand, if you shoot like out of hand, it compensates a little bit for the shaking because as soon as you stabilize it, your shaking will be in slow motion too. Which is a super nice effect because especially if you film for Instagram, like a slow motion shot captures the eye and I like to, to, to watch it and it's like a little bit mesmerizing and this is where you get like the effect of the skin bouncing a little bit and you see yeah. if you go really slow you see the needle going up and down which is like super nice and also we had like I think a lot of people didn't understand that we use slow motion yeah. because we had some comments on Instagram like yo bro your machine is too slow yeah, yeah. <laughs> are you willing to do it so slow no, it's slow motion because it, it just looks nice. You can do it in real time, but you will you will see the difference really quick because the movement, it looks way smoother if it's in slow motion. You can really concentrate on the details and you can just take like a fraction of your shot that really looks super good, stretch it up and then put it in your video. So it's amazing, but it has a disadvantage because when you shoot at 100 frames per second, uh, what we do here in Europe, you have to use a shutter of 200. So you lose a lot of light. You need a camera that has a good low light performance. Otherwise your, your picture will be really grainy or you won't really be able to see any details in the picture. So uh, that's, that's something that is important. You have to get your camera into the right settings. So you put in 100 frames per second, you put in a 200 shutter when I shoot, I normally use uh, the ISO on automatic, but you can also, you can set it there. But I use it on automatic because what I do, I use a color profile. I shoot in hybrid log gamma. That's a color setting that gives you a higher dynamic range because you have a problem when shooting tattoo videos, you use a lot of lights that are really bright, but you are shooting dark colors on a dark background. So you have a, a high dynamic range in the picture. If you don't have a camera that supports high dynamic range, you have to suffer some losses in the lights maybe or something. So I just turn my camera on automatic in ISO and I switch the lighting up to plus one and then I get a perfect lighting. 
the thing is you, you need a camera that is able to do so so it's better to invest in good equipment at this point because your portfolio your pictures your videos is the, the core of your whole marketing so better do a one-time investment of a good camera good lens good lightning and everything instead of like buying the cheapest way possible uh, because you will regret it later on and then you have to buy the better yeah. stuff anyway and your videos won't be much better than those from an iPhone because the iPhone camera it's pretty good now but it's um, but also like Samsung and every other yeah <laughs> it's, it's, it's just not as good as a, as a professional camera so you can see the difference if you use the camera right if you buy a shitty camera or you use uh, the camera the wrong way your videos won't get any better than those that you shot with your iPhone. That's right. important. Now we have the good camera. What kind of lens we need to buy? The thing is, there's a, a kit lens that comes with the camera. Those lenses are normally shitty and you will see it in the picture. You will see that a good lens, a prime lens has a higher contrast um, and you have a better depth of field. So when you shoot a tattoo, you can see the tattoo is sharp and the background starts to get blurry. Th this effect is better when you use a prime lens or a good lens because you can open up the aperture a little bit more. For example, we have a lens here that is perfect for making tattoo videos. It's the Sony 90 mm macro lens. It has an aperture of 2.8 and for the professionals under you would say, oh, but 1.7 would be better or something. It has an aperture of 2.8 because it has optical stabilization in it. So this lens combines the fact that it's a 90 millimeter and that you can open it up to 2.8 with an image stabilization. I shoot like 90% of the time I shoot out of hand. So I use the stabilization provided from this lens and from the camera because the camera has also a stabilization at the sensor which is like a five axis stabilization and these both combined give you a steady shot and a really nice cool close-up shot from the tattoo we will show you a few shots i took with this lens in slow motion and they look just great I brought another lens, yeah. What, this is what's that one? This is a good all-rounder lens for the camera. Um, some people use the 24-70 G Master lens. It's a pretty expensive lens, but a good lens. We decided to get the 24-105 from Sony. It also has a G, but it's, it's not a G Master. It's just a regular lens from Sony. Um, it also has optical steady shot, a stabilization in the lens, uh, and it has an aperture of f4. So you have a trade off here, you just get an aperture of 4. But you can shoot on f4, the pictures are actually sharp on f4, so you can use it and it's stabilized. And you have a wide range to use this. You can, you can shoot a wide angle total at 24, or you can go in really, really close at 105 and even use the crop mode of the camera and go in even further. So this is a good all-rounder lens. We took a lot of the final shots from the tattoos actually with this lens. And I shoot a lot of video with this lens. Um, when you don't want to switch the lenses all the time, this is a really good all-rounder lens. All right, nice. So we have the camera, we have the lens. Now let's take a look at a video you shot and edited here at Mami, I'm sorry. Yeah. It is uh, one of the most popular videos um, on our Instagram channel. It's a tattoo by Ben Tats and he did a dog. The first thing you will see, uh, you can always see the tattoo. You have to get the lighting right. You have to make sure that the lights are really on the tattoo itself and that the tattoo artist doesn't get his head in front of the light so you can get images like those. I think I used the 90 millimeter here for the really close up shots like this one here. Um, it's really nice to get a macro shot when you do whites or shading. That's what the 90 millimeter is perfect for because you get really sharp shots with a blurry background out of this lens. And like you said, I think like you establish the tattoo in the video first you have the stencil then you see a little bit of the stencil you can already see out oh, what's the 
gonna be. Yeah. And then the next steps are pretty far ahead in the tattoo process because if you wanna do the video and you tell the story about the tattoo, like after the stencil, the first process of the tattoo, unless it's uh, just line work, is pretty boring. As soon as the first layer of shadings is, is uh, tattooed and you get more into the details and see more contrast. And or even the outlines are done. Yeah. I mean, as soon as the outlines are done and you can see where it's going, yeah. it's a good time to step in and film but again. Like in, in realistic tattoos, you don't really do outlines. So yeah, you, you, you just go with the shade. As soon as you can already recognize the tattoo, then it makes fun to watch the video actually, yeah. right? So, I mean, what made this video so popular is uh, the size of the motive. It's like only this big, so you can always see the whole motive while the artist is working on the motive. And when I go in to take a close up, you always you can always get okay, this is now the part here uh, close to the eye. This is the ear of the dog. Uh, what's really bad for your video is when you shoot stuff that the viewer cannot recognize. So you just have a bunch of lines and colors and shade, but you, you, you don't get what it could be any tattoo. So why put it in your video? You have to put, get shots in the video that either show the artist or the motive and show them in a good way, present them in a good light. Yes, I never assume too much of the of the viewer because sometimes people think ah, the person who will watch this they will know it's a dog or they yeah. will know it's the Eiffel Tower or whatever yeah. but they won't like you you have to entertain them and you have to maybe educate them and uh, show them how you do your work also for your clients it's like really nice to see how the process is gonna be when when they get tattooed at your shop so yeah and that's also something that we had to learn because in the beginning I was just focusing on the technical aspect of my video. I made sure, okay, I made a good shot. So this, it was a, a technically good performed shot. And then I brought it all together. And then I showed it to AJ and he was like, dude, I have no idea what's going on in this video. I cannot see the motive. I don't know what's going on. And I was like, but it's such a nice video. And then I rewatched the video and I was like, okay, I knew what the motive was because I was walking around it all day. But if I didn't know what it is, I just looked at the video and was like, yeah, that's just a bunch of lines. I have, I have no idea what's going on. So the viewer has to be able to recognize what's going on in the video. But don't get us wrong, if you do like just a line video, it uh, can also be really nice. Like we watched now uh, a normal post of a video Instagram has now the features of Reels, which yeah. is like really nice because it loops and then you can play with infinite loops, but this is another topic. But if we take a look at a video that went viral here, um, a tattoo done by and so what? It was just a simple finishing line yeah. of a rose. It was the white highlight. Yeah. Here is the video. The tattoo is, the tattoo is basically done. It's, it's finished. It's just the final touch up that you see here in this video and you can see the slow motion this is a, a shot uh, 100 frames per second so it's slowed down by four you can see how slowly she gets down with a needle you can see every penetration of the needle through the skin you can see the motive you can see the whole rose while she is doing this and this is uh, why this video was so popular because you can see the nice whole motive while the artist is doing something and it's, uh, it's in good lighting. You can see everything, there are no shadows there and there's not too much light. You don't have burned out sections. You can see them on the right uh, where the foil is getting really, really white. I think there you have some blowouts, uh, but that's why I use hybrid lock gamma to avoid blowouts in the highlights. Since we talked about so much right now and we still have so much to talk about, guys, we decided to split this video into two parts. So. Be ready for part two where we're gonna talk about like the post-production and stuff. And stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, now basic YouTube stuff. If you don't wanna miss that, hit notification bell, subscribe to this channel, follow us on Instagram, mommy I'm sorry, and we stream on Twitch like three times a week, sometimes five, sometimes zero. It's a mystery. See you soon. <laughs> <laughs>